Hello YouTube, episode 15 of the uh, Road to Glory. We are in the middle of the Black Friday weekend, which is absolutely nuts for content. We had Upgrade SPC, Player Pick, League Specific Packs. We have Renewable Hero Pack. We have Base Icon Pack. And when I did my last video, some of you asked to... I don't know, refine the method on how we use the bronze pack method and how we craft these packs because right now League SPC is on hold because these packs, the League 1 81 plus double upgrade and the League 1 upgrade are skyrocketing the prices of golds. Rare golds especially are around 2 to 3k in League 1. So if you are doing the League SPC at the moment, I'd suggest put the League 1 on post. Don't do any Ligar packs unless you have a crazy amounts of silver and bronzes, but don't use your golds in them. You do the upgrade packs. Try to pack those crazy special cards because right now the packs are loaded with the best of team of the week, this week's team of the week, and the new signatures signings that are really good cards. So you want to pack them. So what you do at the moment is you do the smaller league you do the liga bbva you do the saudi you do mls efl is i don't know you do it if you have the cards i wouldn't spend money on it the packs are not great and you need three specific teams when you do the dfl so it's not kind of good return what you want to do though is the libertadores it is super cheap to craft all you have to do is mass bid on some rare golds around 700 coins so you do the big the big pack here it's the only one you will need to spend money on everything else you will pack organically doing the bronze pack method doing the silver upgrades this is super easy i think i've done it four times since yesterday it's just a good way to put packs into your team but you don't do the sudamericana the sudamericana is the same grind but this one is super expensive because there's only three or four players above 75 rating. So you need all of them to get your team to a up rating of 75. So you need to buy them at around 1800 coins, 2000 coins. And the pack return is not great in the suit. There's two silvers pack, so it's not so great. You can do it if you have all the cards. Uh, if you did the bronze pack method for a while, you may have a lot of these. So you can craft this. But I would suggest selling the Sudamericana and doing the Libertadores. And I would suggest selling the uh, championship to do everything else. Saudi is really, really a good grind. Uh, Mexico is super cheap at the moment. The major league are expensive. MLS and Redivisie are good. There's way too many golds, but you can do with common golds and they did not rise. So it's the same price as before. That's for the League SBC what you should do to get to here is the bronze pack method uh, before i do the bronze pack method uh no i'll i'll do the bronze pack method first uh people were asking how i do it and right now is a great 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 time to do the bronze pack method because every bronze is rare sell for at least 350 points whatever leagues whatever nations it, league spc are more expensive obviously but there's a good way to recoup your money doing the bronze pack method right now. But everything else, every common cards are not really sellings. There's no great SBC. We use the Black Friday SBC grind to completely rinse our club. I did well over 200k selling bronzes. And that's how you fund the bronze pack method. It's a cost... It's not a cost-friendly method because you will spend some money 50 60 70k doing it over time because you're not selling as much card as you would like but when the time is right and when there's a good sbc you store a lot of cards so you sell them all in a bunch and you recoup your coins so the method at the moment is staying afloat so you can sell your rares 350 for rares is really good because you're you're your cost is 750, but you will quick sell all the um, consumables and stuff. So you lower it to maybe 650, 600. Common duplicates at the moment, I am quick selling because I don't want to clog my transfer list, but you should list them for 200. You never know. Some of them will catch on, they will sell. 
And at the moment, I'm selling all my rares because I don't want to stockpile them. I need coins to fund. So if you want to sell quick, it's 350. You can put them at four. You'll catch some lazies at four. Uh, I also suggest sell. If you don't want to craft them at the moment, sell the good leagues. Prem, Syria, uh, Bundesliga, sell them. You will get some coins. They all got lower within the last couple of days. Prem is still around 2k for cards. Uh, Liga is around 1k because nobody's doing the Liga right now. And Bundesliga is around 800 coins. So you can sell those if you don't want to do the League SPC. This will pay for your method. You will pack one of these cards every four or five packs. You will pack some rare pretty much every pack or every two packs. So they will be self-sufficient. And... Oh, why is he expensive? And you check your prices. This guy, I don't know why, will probably sell for around 250. So you never know. And you quick sell whatever you don't use. And why you're doing the bronze pack method is because you do the bronze upgrades afterwards. And this is where it gets interesting. If you do an hour of BPN a day on your phone, on your computer, you watch Netflix, whatever, you will pile up a lot of common cards from the bronze. And this is where you do the bronze pack method, uh, the bronze upgrade, sorry. And these bronze upgrades are really, really great for the silvers. Silvers can get expensive and you always need silvers for whatever reason. So you pick a league you know will never get an SPC, like English tree, common card, and you don't care the position, you just put them all in. It's way quicker on the web app because you can uh, do uh, use the team builder Use bronze common, put them all in, fill the empty position, and that's it. But if you do it this way, see, I already got my 40 chemistry, so I don't really care about the position. You do this, uh, I do once a week, I clean my club, twice a week, you get 40, 50, 60 pack, 40 upgrades, so that's 100, 120 silvers. You get your silvers, put them in club, the untradables, you do gold upgrades. And right now the gold upgrades are great because you need common golds to craft the super great packs we have for specific leagues. So right now is the best time to do a ton of bronze pack because you need cards, cards and cards and cards and cards becomes resources to do these little packs, league one upgrades, to do the uh, 81 plus double upgrades and to do the super juiced 75 player picks. If you can, spam those packs this is how i crafted my base icon i my club was near empty on friday i did a lot of spc this week i completed beckham i completed peter check and my club was i had 85s and 84s nothing above i spammed those i did maybe 30 35 of those got ter stegen got ederson got ramos these are juiced with fodder i did not pack anything special but these are juiced with fodder so this is how you do it. My, my suggestion right now, if you're bored, do the BPM. Pick up your phone, do the BPM. Don't do it on console, it's kind of slow. I showed it to you on console just to show, but it's too slow. Do it on your computer, you do something else. You watch football on, uh, I don't know, I watch it on The Zone here in Canada, but you do you, you watch football, whatever. Uh, today's Sunday, I will watch the NFL, spam the bronze pack method at the same time. This is how I do my grind. And this is a great way to do it because right now for the next three to four days, we can put cards anywhere and everywhere. So there is no wasted motions. So bronze pack is awesome for that. Silver pack method is not good right now. The silver packs are too expensive. See here, uh, I'll sell him. Th this is an also another way. If you do all those packs and all those upgrades and all those leagues, you need to sell some cards. You you need to fund your grind. So tradable silvers that are sellable, you should just cash in right now on anything that sells for a little bit and stash away the rest. And these tradables will come in the when you, uh, you do upgrades. So you switch your untradables for tradables and uh, so on and so forth. This is what I do. I do it a little quicker than I should because I want to be efficient. I don't want to spend all this time doing the same thing over and over again. And I spend some money. My coins are only used to fuel 
this grind i do not buy players on the market i am a first owner road to glory so my 330 coins they go up and down i really don't care i don't use them so i get coins on rewards i get coins while playing the game i get coins every once in a while you pack something good this is how i get my coins and this is how i do the grind i'm my coin total may go as low 200k when i do the bronze pack method that's my threshold at 100k i slow it down and i try to do some tradings to go up again but once a week there's always an spc like uh last wednesday i was around 130k and i was thinking should i sell some of my assets to get my coins back up and then an spc came bronzes rare were selling for six to seven hundred coins i sold like 400 of them i don't remember and my my coin balance got back up to 350 even 400 coin k and then got back down and then goes back up because i'm crafting spc when i need a player i buy him to put into an spc this is how i do my grind i don't always use untradeables in my spc i use tradable cards because it's quicker you should sell as much card as you can get coins get liquid you will pack a ton of untradable cards speaking of i'll finish this epi with my base icon pack it's my first this year i crafted some of the spc i crafted peter check i crafted beckham uh, i will craft roberto carlos the mid one i started him i did three legs already three of the mid ones i still have the really expensive ones to do so it's a longer grind for roberto carlos so i really don't know what i should expect i will probably get an overmarsh or something but base icon pack right now are repeatable and they are kind of cheap this is a good time to do them don't do the hero packs heroes are almost unplayable right now except for two or three cards like you can pack ginola you can pack di natale and you can pack uh Abdipelli. everything else is meh i did two myself and packed meh cards that i use sometimes for chemistry but nothing else so if you want do this craft you will be able to do at least one base icon pack within two days it's super super easy or you will pack some great promo cards i have the uh, jimenez from uh, prim that i want to try sometimes this week in rivals but i'll see how my squad goes because this base icon pack may change everything for the road to glory or not let's see here goes nothing obviously it's a walkout and it is ah oh, england is not good see that that's why you don't you don't get your hopes up for uh, base icons lineker is i'm not probably i don't know three star four star he, he's maybe better than in previous fifa but he's almost discard price 60 70k for an icon he's he's at the floor i really don't see how i can be excited for this this is four squads it's roughly 200k to do i did it all with untradeable cards and stuff but still this is really really a letdown anyway th that's how my craft goes that's how the bronze pack method go i hope you're having fun with this and i hope you have better pack luck than me this is this is kind of a bummer but i'm going back onto the grind and i'll see you guys uh, somewhere this week for episode 16 and maybe more crazy promos ciao